They put their lives on the line serving our country, but when veterans return home to civilian life, finding a job can be tough. But as Rob Sneed found out, new at 6, there's help right here in the Miami Valley. Hi, Rob. Yeah, organizers of the job fair at the Nutter Center are calling it a success. But for the vets who benefited from it, they're calling it life-changing. You can call it a massive job interview. More than 100 employers representing various companies, all at Wright State University for only one reason, helping these veterans get jobs. We have been fairly successful in the past. Um, we feel like if we can come to a job fair and walk away with two or three really solid candidates, we're really happy about that. Solid candidates like senior airman Jones. I think it's wonderful outside. Once I woke up, I, I looked and it was shiny and the election is finally over, so I'm excited. I think it's a great day to look for a job. This recent college grad hopes to take her military training and put it to work in a white collar job. I actually live in Cincinnati and I'm relocating closer to the base because I'm a reservist, so I'm looking for something in the finance field. Alvin Dennis with Wright Pat tells me that's a major challenge for veterans. And that's because we have a lot of barriers to employment. A lot of our career fields that we are in in the military are non transferable back into the civilian market. Dennis knows this all too well. He's a vet and says a similar job fair like this changed his life more than 20 years ago. It was great because when you go to a job fair and you know what you can do and you know what you can offer an employer, when you get here and that employer recognizes your skills and then offers you a job, that's no, nothing better than that feeling when they say it, come go to work for me. A simple phrase that will make a huge impact in these people's lives. Now, Dennis tells me their next job fair will be held in April. We'll pass that along to you as soon as it nears. Live in the newsroom, Rob Sneed, 2 News.